<laughs> Look at this. Check this out. Rainbow Valley. Um, about an hour and 10, 15 minutes south of Alice Springs. Uh, it's called that because uh, all the iron you can see on the face of the cliffs here leaching out uh, on sunset, which is behind the vlogging camera here. About an hour should light up these beautiful pinks and purples. Uh, and that's why I've come out here to shoot this magnificent rock face. Stunning location. Whew. Yeah, so this country is a uh, Southern Aranet country. Um, local Aboriginal, Indigenous people. This is their country. Um, it's actually one of the last places in Central Australia where the uh, local uh, people here, Indigenous people, were allowed to roam free, hunt freely uh, in this area, sacred area, uh, meeting place. Uh, the clay dry, pa the clay pans, uh, which you would have seen in the footage, is what it's famous for. Uh, it's dry at the moment. You're not allowed on there. I thought you're allowed on there to actually um, walk around and it's going to shoot back. That was my idea, but um, to uh, respect the traditional land landowners, you're not allowed to walk out on the uh, clay pans. And when you get some rain here, that clay pan actually fills up uh, with water and it'll hang around for about a week or so and then uh, dry out and you get back to the solid, uh, solid clay pans. Anyway, back to where I'm shooting. Uh, so this... This formation here roughly was about, took about 40 million years ago um, over time. It wasn't so dry and arid out here. It was actually uh, quite a lush, lush forest. And the top of these uh, ranges here is where the, um, the top of the rainforest or forest was. And uh, over time, with uh, a lot of moisture around here, well, 40 million years ago, rising up um, through the ground, through all the rainfall, uh, it um, what it did is it broke down all the iron in the um, in the cliff here or in the uh, ground itself because ground level would, would have been top of those hills uh, and then it leached out um, and, and, and eroded over 40 million years um, and obviously Australia got moved north, arid, drier and now it's desert and uh, everything's eroded away leaving this magnificent landscape um, behind absolutely spectacular i can't wait to see the colors on sunset so for now i'm just going to look for some compositions and i got a bit of a dilemma which i'll talk about in a minute where to shoot but yeah i'm going to do some scouting and i'll get back to you so a uh, few dilemmas about where i want to shoot and um well the location composition wise um down here on, on the actual plains i'm low can shoot across there's quite a few um back in here sand dunes and these cool uh, shrubs and bushes i can use as foreground interest and then shoot back up even use this tree here i was thinking did a test shot um of this tree uh looking back and i did a side view actually with some not this nice side light coming in i might chuck that up for you but anyway <laughs> getting back um yeah use uh, some foreground foreground elements here uh and some of these shrubs uh like i said back in here is sand dunes um, leading you up into the magnificent um, rock face. Uh, but back behind the vlogging camera about four, six, seven hundred meters, so a bit of a walk through some uh, sand uh, as a lookout looking across the valley and onto the rocks themselves, which uh, typically I think where everyone takes their image, so I'm trying to be a bit different here. Came out here to take something a bit different, but in saying that, up on that hill looks amazing you're looking over the valley and you're looking at the rocks and you get a whole view of this whole area so do i stay down here get a couple of different compositions within these grasses dunes you're not allowed to venture too far on here it's protected vegetation the tracks just here so basically is where i'm allowed is here back along here um some nice uh some nice foreground interests are uh, leading you back into the rocks themselves or do I go back up onto the lookout? So yeah, don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna stay down here. This is my thinking, um, my thought process. Get a couple of good images down here. Maybe two, maybe three. Two I'd be happy with, uh, foreground interest. And then make a dash for it, <laughs> dash. Uh, it's quite uh, 
soft sand track and then it goes up onto a boardwalk track so i'll try my best i'll, I'll allegedly fast paced walk <laughs> um and try and get back up to the top there and get an image um yeah it all depends on the light and how it, how it pans out really yeah so for now i think i'm going to stick low just down in this valley here hope it pays off fingers crossed and um make a make a dash for it um in the hopes that i get just some more maybe the last light hitting the peaks of these tops of these um rock face here uh, i think that'll make a nice image and uh, yeah that'll be it but for now i've got about ooh, half an hour 40 minutes uh, until that sun drops just across the horizon lighting these uh, rock face up turning bright red so um fingers crossed Stay with me and uh, let's see what kind of images we can get here. Wow, had some um, cloud ban on the horizon. It's the sun setting. I think it's really killed that effect of the purples and the colors you'd normally get. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, but I was uh, dashing around um, down here. The sun was sinking, trying to get some shots, uh, some different foreground interests. One with a tree, um, coupled with these uh, shrubs back in here. And for my last shot, I'm perched up on this uh, Perched up on this little sand dune, um, gone wider. I'm using my um, 14 to 30 wide lens. I just wanted to show the expansion of the landscape itself instead of maybe using my 24 to 200 and focusing on, on this uh, rock face itself. But yeah, um, all wide angle uh, to emphasize the country, the beautiful country out here, but still, I mean, this is my office for the day. Look at this. I think I think I got some uh, some really nice images. So I'm going to make probably this one my last one. Really wide on this one, so I've got a lot of that sky. Uh, a couple of puffs of clouds up there. Um, yeah. Don't know if I'm going to go back now and get get in get go up on the advantage point there or the uh, lookout. I just don't think it's worth it now. A lot of cloud uh, coming. <laughs> it's been clear for like, I don't know, a week, longer, <laughs> six weeks. Um, not a cloud in the sky. And I actually saw on the news, I think it's gonna rain in Alice tomorrow. Um, so I thought I'd get down here before that happened, but um, that cloud's rolled in. Um, so usually this would be purple um, and shades of pink and purple. Uh, even reds in there, uh, hence the name Rainbow Valley. But uh, you know, that's that's landscape photography, guys. Um, drove 600 kilometers one way to get here. Not just to the spot, I had to go to Alice Spring to do other things, but I came here. Um, you know, it's not always about getting the perfect conditions, although that uh, that's uh, the icing on the cake in it when you go to a location a long way from your home and you get perfect conditions, but Oh man, you can just, I don't know, I love the desert. <laughs> you can just feel it out here, how old this country is, how beautiful it is, the landscape. But yeah, last image, wide, uh, one thirteenth of a second F9, low eye. So I might hang around and get that sort of champagne color in the sky. I can see it out there. So that uh, blue and pink um, color you get as the sun's setting. 
to the west and out to the east, but phew, I'm not disappointed at all. So I'll chuck those images up that I was walking around uh, just here, all within, I don't know, 100 feet of each other, all these images were taken. And let me know in the comments which one was the best. I think I'm just gonna sit here like I always do and take it all in. Well guys, uh, I'm done. Epic location, epic. Ah uh, yeah, Rainbow Valley. Um, it's only accessible really, well yeah, by four wheel drive. The ride out, road out here is uh, about 22K from the main highway. And it's all, um, you need a four wheel drive to access it. But yeah, recommend it to any uh, landscape photographer get out here man it's too bad you can't get out on those the uh, clay pans there there's a bush right in the middle which would make an absolutely amazing um, foreground interest and then looking back would be phenomenal phenomenal but yeah I'm um, gonna call it an evening and drive back to Alice, which is an hour from here. Probably an hour and 10, 15. But yeah, thanks for coming along, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, leave a thumbs up in the comment. It really helps me out. Whew, hard work walking on the sand. Until I see you on the next adventure, guys. Have a fantastic week. And uh, get out and shoot. <laughs> All right, see you later.